Sunrise Cereals. I'm your host, Richard Bouchard, and we are starting to get down to the nitty-gritty with our current cereal, The Spider's Web. Only three episodes remain before the octopus is unmasked. Have you figured out who he is? Although I can find no confirmation of this, based on his physical appearance, the actor under the hood appears to be our old friend Bud Geary, who was the man in the Don Del Oro armor for much of Zorro's fighting legion. He also appears in this serial as one of the thugs. Now, I based that surmise on an article which specified that the voice of the octopus was provided by the actor playing the character, who would eventually be revealed under the hood. Columbia was unusually fair using the actor's actual voice, even if it was distorted by the speaker the octopus always talked through. Well, with people being killed off left, right, and sideways, well, aren't that many suspects left? Well, let's see. Uh, there's no level hood Martin, who is certainly one. He always seems to know what the octopus is up to and is constantly feeding that information to Blinky McQuaid. Does he suspect Blinky of being the spider's informant? It seems like the information given tends to result in the spider being trapped. Or could it be Mr. Crane, the railroad tycoon? Oh, sure, the octopus attacked the train, but could he have done it to draw suspicion away from himself? Hmm. What about Mr. Gray, the bank director? Well, certainly he would have easy access to fund the octopus's various schemes. What about Mr. Chase? He seemed very anxious to prove that Wentworth was the spider. Also, there was the note on his desk, although that could have been forged to draw suspicion in the wrong direction. And then there's Mr. Gordon, the head of the power company. The attack on his generators was pretty easily quashed. And finally, Mr. Frank, the media mogul. Has he been seriously attacked at all? As I said, Columbia plays it fair when it comes to the villain's identity and gives us clues so we can solve the mystery along with the spider. So let's see if we can spot any today as we watch Chapter 13, The Manhunt. <laughs> the underworld, a menace known as the octopus is trying to seize control of the key industries of the nation. The octopus follows this madman's dream with ruthless daring. Waging a desperate battle against the octopus, Police Commissioner Kirk enlisted the aid of Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist. Into the contest leaps Wentworth's other self, the spider, trying to bring law and order to a terrorized business world. He's been here this way. Yeah. 
A deadly hail of bullets opposed the spider as he engaged the forces of the opposition of veritable war. Outnumbered, the spider was trapped in an abandoned factory until he discovered a suspended electric wire leading from the building. As the spider was crossing on the wire, his enemies dropped him in midair by breaking the wire insulator. As the I call this wire base up on the desk and it never goes wrong. Go! Oh! 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 station better than this? The machine is turned on full force, sir. Right. Now the chase has been eliminated as a possible suspect, we find that our search now is down to three men. Gray, the banker, Gordon, head of the power company, and Frank, head of the broadcasting company. Now, Gray is a very powerful man in the city. But nevertheless, we must go on the assumption that he is the octopus and let him prove that he isn't. All right, I'm loaded. Oh. Gray could easily be the octopus, Major. He has access to the cash in his banks. Hmm. and sound the vibration. Uh, isn't there anything we can do for him? He Call just hospital. said stop talking. Plain sound vibration, huh? Mm. Kill your case. Chart, please. Mm. Heartbeat rather faint. He could have a sedative to quiet him. His heart won't stand much more shock. And if sound excites him... Doctor, it's important that I talk to him. You may speak to him, but not above a whisper. This is number eight reporting. Wentworth with Gray now. He's going to question him. They are both to be taken care of immediately. Keep me posted as to Wentworth's movements. You wait here. After I take care of Gray, we'll tackle Wentworth. The intern gave us the whole layout. Easy, man. Go over there. Work with man, eh? Yeah. We better grab him, Spike, and then you take him down to the chemical laboratory. Oh, buddy. Have your match? <laughs>
there. Whoever did it has made his escape by now. Why, this man is dead. Have this case moved to the examination. Uh, yes, don't, don't you be the a murder. morgue? This is a police matter, but first I want to make an examination to satisfy myself about this. Mind if I go along? No, no, come on. Wentworth's in the examination room, end door to the left. I heard of a case like this once, Doctor. Only it wasn't deliberate. Death was caused by the sudden slamming of a door. The police ought to be here pretty soon. That must be them now. If I don't get out of it, you'll never see that guy in the turban again. Ram Singh, where is he? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? Take him down to headquarters. We'll make you talk. Doc, where's your telephone? Right over there. Hello, this is Mr. Wentworth. Will you get my house, please? Hello, Jackson. I want you to get something and bring it down to headquarters. You'll find it down in the lab. Sit down. What is this? Where'd you get that? Hmm, you seem to recognize it. It's a sound vibrating machine, like you used on Gray. Let me out of here. You know, Garvin, this machine has a good many uses. It might make you talk. You can't do that to me. Oh, no, you did it to Gray. Don't turn it on. I'll talk. All right. Where did they take Ram Singh? I don't know. I don't intend wasting time. Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh, no. We're going to leave you alone with it for a while. Come on, Jackson. Mr. Gorman isn't in a talkative mood. I'll tell you, turn that thing off! Where is Ram Singh? He's at 10 West 4th Street, the chemical laboratory. If you're lying, Gorman, you'll get worse than this. The police will take care of you. All right, Jackson. No doubt the house will have some of the octopuses in there, Major. I expect that. Then the spider must strike again, huh? For Ram Singh's sake. Right. What were his to discourage? But with you as the next victim he finds on his doorstep, he may stop interfering with the octopus. Hey, oh, what are we wasting time for, Trigger? Throw the mug in the shower room. Sure. It'll be good for his health. Come on, we're going to give him a warm bath. A warm bath? Are they planning to relax him to death? Jackson's missing, and we're still up against the stone wall. Not a clue. Well, I called you all here to discuss a plan. Ram Singh and I have a description of the men we think kidnapped Jackson, and... Mr. Wentworth's home. Oh, just a minute, Mr. Kirk. Yes, Kirk, what's up? This may be a lead, though it's rather vague. The council wants me to send a squad to the bus terminal to investigate the activities the public has been complaining about. Thanks, Kirk. I'll check on it right away. The men are going to the terminal late tonight? 
All right. Goodbye. The boys tapped Kirk's call to Wentworth. The commissioner is sending a squad of cops to the terminal tonight to investigate. Very interesting. Commissioner Kirk's policemen will receive a warm welcome. What will we do with Jackson, sir? All in prisoner. Round fifth ticket for Lincoln Junction. Sorry, but the terminal's closed for the night. Oh, well, you're not supposed to close until... You heard what he said. They're out. Who are you? What's the meaning of this? Are you going to get out or do I have to throw you out? I have heard about the things that go on in this terminal. Now I'm sure of it. Now that you are sure, get out while you're still healthy. I'll report this to the police. All right, you guys. You've got your instructions. Octopuses, mention them in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Will the spider run out of suspects before we run out of chapters? Will Ram Singh get into steampunk? Has Richard Wentworth disguised himself as a yo yo? Come back tomorrow for chapter 14 The Double Punk. See you then. Hey everybody, it's Richard again, and if this is the first time you're viewing my series, you've already missed a lot, so why not subscribe, and that way you'll never miss another exciting cliffhanging moment. Subscribe today!